Shimai. Today we're out for a bit of an evening walk again um, and we're down by the stream where we were last week where we looked at the wild garlic or the ramsons and um, we're going to have a look at a very similarly named plant just down by here and just step in by there and this here is garlic mustard or Aliaria petiolata um, it goes by two names in English, garlic mustard or jack by the hedge. Now in Welsh, similarly, it goes by two names, garlic mustard or garchlegog, or jack by the hedge, which is jackagurch. Now it's late April and it's the perfect time because as you can see, it's coming to flower. Um, it's a, bi a biennial, which means once every two years. And that's because it flowers, um, the, the plant starts growing in the first year and then in the second year it will come and flower. Now th these flowers are typically around about now April to July and as you can see they're white um, and they're on the tips of the stem, so right at the very top there. Um, and there's four, uh, the, the petals are four to six millimetres long and if I look at that one there's a nice example there and as you can see there just four little white petals, lovely. Now the leaves are what really makes it distinctive because they've got these lovely, um, they, they're often, there we are, described as heart-shaped leaves. You can see them there, lovely shape to them. Um, with this tufted margin, you can see that the edge of the, edge of the leaf there has this sort of wavy tufted margin to it. Um, and when you touch them like that, they, they smell quite strongly of garlic um, uh, and you can see that they're a kind of shiny yellowy green look to them and they're quite soft and actually and it, you can almost see it really slightly sticky to touch. Now once these flowers have, have passed over they'll obviously turn into the fruits which are sort of slender pod like um, uh, seed pods really which are about six to twenty millimeters long and they're, they're, they're sort of um, dark brown. Now, as you can see here um, and actually walking down to the wood we pass loads along the side of the road um, and they are they're found uh, you know on hedgerows and roadsides and scrubland and in the case of here just on the edge of some woodland. Um, now usually and you can't you can just see down in the base of there but there's um, a rosette so like a whirl of kidney shaped um, basil leaves uh, which are visible actually for most of the year but it's only now in the springtime late spring I guess that they start to really spring up and, and come into flower and they'll grow much taller I mean these can actually reach up to about a meter tall in some places they're great for wildlife too. Now it's a favourite food of um, the orange tip butterfly caterpillars. Uh, um, there's nothing, nothing on them at the moment that I can see but uh, maybe, we're, maybe we're a little bit early for it. Um, and they're edible. This is another one that is edible and it tastes of sort of um, mustard and garlic which actually deters animals. You can see that this hasn't been nibbled on. You can see the odd little hole in the leaf which is great so that means some insects are, are nibbling on these leaves um, and that's why where the name comes from the garlic mustard it is as literal as that that they have this garlicky mustardy kind of taste to them um, so ah look under there it's a little okay, yeah, I'm not sure you can see it under there but there's another little hole and the leaf is curled so there's something in there um, and these leaves, like I say, they, they are edible um, and the leaves are eaten in salads um, and are used as a flavouring for fish or meat. The other interesting thing with this is, again, you know, lots of these wild plants have um, medicinal properties and, and have been historically used in medicine. Um, and this has been used as an antiseptic um, and actually an anti-asthmatic. So to help with um, people with asthma, with their breathing. Um, the other quite interesting thing with this is that if you took this uh, and sort of mashed it up a bit it would make a yellow dye so um, if you ever fancy making a yellow dye this is the plant for you it's quite easy to recognize as well it's it's quite distinctive these heart-shaped leaves which look a little bit like nettles but you can see that it is a very different plant 
So there we go, garlic mustard or jack by the hedge, a really easy one to identify, a great time now to go out and find it. Um, it's everywhere at the moment and it's so much easier to spot with these little white flowers, little white flowers on the top. Um, so there we go, go out and find it while you can and good luck. <laughs>